My turn. Mr. Shannon Sharp, I'm about to annihilate you in this debate and tell you all the perfect reasons as to why the Clippers 54 point loss to the Dallas Mavericks yesterday is not important. Kawhi Leonard is the GOAT. Paul George is the greatest three-point shooter of all time. He is better than Ray Allen and he is better than Steph Curry. And I read a quote saying he will come for dudes heads this year and I will take his word for it, bar none. Second point, they have Sweet Lou. They have Patrick Beverly who can even lock up Michael Jordan. And if you look at the Memorial Day Massacre, the Lakers lost by 48 points, I believe. And they landed up winning those NBA finals. That's all that's going to happen here. The Lakers are scared of the Clippers. The Clippers aren't scared of the Nuggets. They proved that on Christmas Day. And that is why they're going to go to the NBA Finals. And they're going to defeat the second GOAT. That's right. The second GOAT. Kevin Durant. Who may be the first GOAT. But I can never make up my mind. Because I have to deal with you each day, Shannon. LeBron may be the GOAT. But he is scared of the Clippers. And he has no idea what he's getting himself into. Let's rewind to Christmas Day. Serge Ibaka completely blocked Kawhi Leonard's face, a complete elbow. And I will tell you something, Shannon. If LeBron were to get hit in the face like that, he would retire. Kawhi Leonard is the Terminator. LeBron James is my little pony. There is no debate about that at all. He tweaked his ankle and he quit. Kawhi Leonard made LeBron quit. That is it. I'm not even going to put that up for debate because it's facts. My eye test told me that. So set it in stone. I'm going to knock on wood. Kawhi Leonard comes back. But that is the main reasons they lost yesterday. Sure, Luka had a day. So did Paul George. He was 0 for 6. That screams GOAT numbers. Even Michael Jordan had a terrible shooting night. And I still consider him the GOAT. I'm not going to make a big deal about this, Shannon. I know you are. You're gloating over there in your GOAT mask, thinking LeBron's the GOAT. But at the end of the day, set it in stone. This is not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. The Clippers will be second round exit champions once again. May even choke on a 3-1 lead. But you can catch them in the NBA Finals. Put it in stone, Shannon. Kawhi Leonard is the GOAT. And here's another reason why Kawhi's the GOAT, Shannon, not LeBron. Because Kawhi Leonard's shoe sales will be bigger and better than Michael Jordan's shoe sales. Mainly because they are comfortable. Just ask every grandpa and every uncle at the cookout when they're on the barbecue grill. They know they are comfy. And I'm 105 years old. I've seen every shoe on the planet. And trust me, I know a good basketball shoe. Kawhi Leonard's shoes will be so big that kids ages 11 through 18 will line up outside their local mall the way they lined up outside for a pair of Michael Jordan's Jubilees. They're going to want a pair of Kawhi Leonard New Balances so bad. Mark my words, Shannon, LeBron has nothing on the shoe game the way Kawhi does. You see, I wear his New Balances every Friday when the show starts and I'm going to continue to wear those to prove that Kawhi's shoe sales will be so much better. Mark it in stone, Shannon.